So Dr. List, other than MDS, um, could you tell us more about overlap syndromes that maybe have some features of MDS? Yes, I mean the World Health Organization really classifies myelodysplastic syndromes separate from another group uh, that we call the overlap syndromes. So the myelodysplastic syndromes include uh, diseases like myelodysplastic syndrome with single lineage dysplasia or multi-lineage dysplasia or excess blasts or specifically MDS with chromosome 5q deletion. The overlap syndromes will have features of what we call myeloproliferative disorders. This is another spectrum of, of stem cell malignancies, but they tend to have an overproduction of cells uh, rather than what we see in MDS, which is cytopenias, an underproduction of cells. And this will include diagnoses uh, such as chronic myelomonocytic leukemia, where there's too many monocytes being produced, uh, or something we call atypical chronic myeloid leukemia. Um, or juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, which really is CMML found in a pediatric patient. There are other uh, subtypes too. Sometimes we see pathologic features of a myeloproliferative disorder in someone that, that appears to have MDS. One example is the subtype of that of overlap syndrome that includes MDS with ring blasts and thrombocytosis, meaning an elevated platelet count. Commonly what we'll see is not just the elevated platelet count, but they'll have abnormalities in the platelets in the megakaryocytes that produce platelets that we would commonly see in a myeloproliferative syndrome. So it's an overlap of hematologic features as well as pathologic features between MDS and myeloproliferative disorders. And why is it important if I have MDS or if I have an overlap syndrome? What, what does that mean to me as a patient? That's a very good question. It, it means very little as far as what we're going to do treatment-wise. Uh, Perhaps there'll be something different in the future. Uh, there's no doubt that chronic myelomonocytic leukemia and juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia have a different spectrum of gene mutations that we may be able to act on in the future. But for the time being, it's, we may see some different symptoms that we normally don't see in MDS, relating specifically to things like splenomegaly. So the spleen can get enlarged in the overlap syndromes where we rarely see that in MDS.